Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment. And in today's video, it's gonna be a little different because I have an order I have to get out that's due in like, it has to be in the customer's hand in four days. Uh, I don't have a ton of time this week to do it. And we're getting some of the after effects of the hurricane. So hopefully the power doesn't go out. So I'm gonna try to do all this before that may happen. So let's get into it. All right, just to catch you all up on a couple things. I have sold some of my woodworking tools. So my bandsaw, my table saw, my planer, my joiner, and my dust collector are all gone at this point. I have one tool left that I'm going to be selling. This will hopefully help me get more space in the garage to do the kind of stuff that I'm trying to do. Also, I've got the Fusion Pro 48 that I showed in the last video that I'll be using. And to go along with that, I also have a new fume extractor from Purex uh, that I bought to go with that machine because of the larger requirement. So a lot of changes have happened, uh, but today I'm just gonna work through this project. I have to make 20 of these items. I don't think there's an issue with showing what's printed on them. Um, so I'll show a quick flash of that later when I get to that. But first up, we're gonna cut out 20 of these pieces and then we'll prep them for printing. Here's the design that I'm going to be using. I can fit about four on a sheet of 12 by 24. I can't fit them side by side or up and down because they're at a dimension that they just exceed the sheet if I try to do that. So while it looks odd to have some at an angle and some not at an angle, uh, it's the best way to maximize the material. So I'm gonna go ahead and print this over to the laser. And I am going to be cutting eighth inch thick clear cast acrylic. So what I'll do is I'm gonna cut these. I have to cut about 20 of them out. So I'm going to do all of that and then I'll come back and show you the printing aspect. But let's go over to the laser, we'll cut them out, and then prep everything for printing. All the items are cut. I actually have two stacks of 10 of these and I can print about seven at a time. I'm not going to show the setup because I want the printing to just come out and show you what it looks like because I think it's pretty cool. So no teaser on the print part. We're just gonna jump into it. First up, I need to peel off the paper from one side of this and then I need to clean them all once they're on the bed. That way I get a good adhesion to the material. So I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping all that and get them ready to print.
I just finished printing the first seven of them. One of them did lift off the table. I guess I didn't stick it down enough. Uh, so I need to redo that one. But this is what they look like. So I think they look pretty cool. I think it's pretty obvious who it's for um, or what they're for. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty simple to do custom cut shapes and print onto them. Uh, you could also do the printing first and then the cutting afterwards, which I will do in a future video with the Fusion Pro. But right now, uh, I don't have time to do that, so I'm doing it this way instead. But overall, I think they turned out pretty good. And yeah, if you have any questions about how I made them or anything with the printing or laser, put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer all of those. Off camera, I'm going to finish making the rest of these. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Again, there's about three here. I have the rest on the workbench and I still have probably 14 more or so to print. But I wanna thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. If you have ideas for new videos, put those in the comments below as well. But I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch the video and I'll see you in the next one.